Let's talk about polling and poll types. For this video we will actually be discussing what is a poll, what are the different poll types and when NetXMS actually does all of the polling. So what is a poll? Poll basically just means to take data. For example, when we will be monitoring uh, CPU usage on a certain node, on a certain server, if we talk about polling, we'll actually mean to take the CPU usage data from the server. So the important thing here is if we say that the CPU usage is polled every 60 seconds, it just means that the actual value from that server node is retrieved every 60 seconds. So we mentioned there are some poll types within NetXMS, so let's talk about those and what they actually are. If we go into the NetXMS client and for a certain node we go into the poll menu, we can actually see multiple polls here, status, configuration, etc. So these are the poll types within NetXMS, but that's not actually all of them. These are just specifically defined for a node, but like we mentioned earlier, a certain data collection item, like CPU usage on a server, is also getting polled, and it's a data collection poll. But for this video, we will mainly talk about these four polls, which you can see here, so the status configuration, inter interface names, and topology polls. So the status poll simply checks the status of the node. Is the node up? Is it responding to ping, so an ICMP echo packet? And we can try a status poll on this HP switch right now. And you will actually see it will check the status of all the child objects of this node as well. So this HP switch has a bunch of interface objects within it. It's the child objects of this switch, since this switch is a 24 port switch. So first NetXMS during a status poll for this switch will check if the switch even responds to ping, if it's up or if it's down, and then it will check the status of all of the child objects, so are the interfaces in an actual desired state, in the expected state which I want them to be. A part of the checking if the node is up is actually an SNMP or an NetXMS agent check as well. So if the switch was up, so it would respond to ping, but it would not respond to the SNMP queries, so the SNMP agent was down for some reason or there was a firewall, the status poll would actually not succeed either. So that's the easiest poll that there is, the status poll, it simply checks if the node is alive and if everything is well on it. Then there is the configuration poll, which is a bit more complicated, because multiple things actually happen during the configuration poll. So let's do a configuration poll on this HP switch right now. And you will see that during the configuration poll there are multiple things that happen. First of all, SNMP is checked if it's responding with the currently configured SNMP community. So if we go into Nodes properties, SNMP will be checked if this switch actually responds to SNMP queries with this community. If the switch didn't respond, NetXMS would actually go into the network discovery settings. And if I had multiple communities here, it would check all of the communities against the SNMP to find out if the switch responds to any of the communities. So example I have version 2 and version 3 configured here right now, so if the switch stopped responding for some reason to SNMP version 2, during a configuration poll NetXMS would actually discover if the switch didn't change its SNMP communities. This is very useful if you have a hundred nodes, for example, and you change SNMP for security reasons, for example, your current SNMP community string was compromised. You would change your community string on those hundred nodes, but NetXMS during the next configuration poll would automatically use the new SNMP community for all of your hundred nodes. And there are some other things which are checked during the configuration poll. For example, templates are applied, and we will talk about templates in a later video. Also, LLDP is checked, and other things such as interface configuration are also checked. The next poll is interface names, which does just that. It simply checks if any interfaces change names on the nodes. And then there is a topology check, which basically retrieves all of the IP uh, routing tables or of the ARP table records and other things from the node. So each poll is actually used for a different purpose within NetXMS. And the last question on our agenda was, when does NetXMS do all of these polls? The status poll is done most frequently because that is 
how NetXMS determines if the node is even up or down. The configuration poll is done less frequently because NetXMS doesn't need to know the changes which the configuration poll checks right away. Usually those changes aren't performed on the nodes. For example, you don't change your SNMP communities that often. But there is a way to configure all of these timers. In uh, one of the earlier videos, if you remember, we went into the server configuration window. And I said there was a bunch of things here. And one of the things that you can actually configure here is how often these polls are performed. So if you go into status, you can see status polling interval. So by default, NetXMS actually checks if the node is alive and responding every 60 seconds. And you could change that here to a lesser value. Just be careful that if you change these, you would have to restart the NetXMS server for it to pick up the new variables. And in the same way, you can actually configure all of the other poll intervals, like configuration poll interval. By default, that's one hour. But you don't really have to make these intervals any shorter, because one hour for a configuration poll is totally sufficient, because if you know that something has changed on the node, or if you want to force NetXMS to do a certain poll, you just go here into the poll menu, and you can actually click status poll, and that would force a status poll on the node right now. For more information on any of these polls, you can actually look in the NetXMS wiki or in the administrator's manual for NetXMS. But what we've discussed so far should be enough to get us through the rest of this basic tutorial series. In the next video, we will look at DCIs, thresholds and templates, and we will actually start monitoring some things on these two nodes that we have within NetXMS.